It's Madden NFL 24, and we're in for a show from Anthony Richardson. After his last game, he's now across 3,000 yards for the season. It's the Lions and the Vikings on EA Sports. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Today on to Week 15 in the NFL, and we've got a good matchup in store as it will be the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Detroit Lions. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. They come in playing pretty good football, winners of four of their last six games. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Vikings, whatever promise they had to start the season fully evaporated now as they come in losers of six straight. And sometimes when you're in the middle of a losing streak, being on the road is exactly what you want. You can only depend on each other. Let's see if they can use that as fuel in this ball game. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And we are underway here on EA Sports. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. So here's the Viking offense making their way out. And they'll be led out by their third-year quarterback. And what I loved about meeting with him before the game was talking to a guy who takes ownership of his performance. Two touchdowns, two interceptions last week. First down, Thompson. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Down to the 10. Touchdown, Vikings. Curtis Samuel, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Vikings get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. Man, one play, 75 yards, end zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big-time play, big-time result. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. So here are the Lions now as they get set for their opening drive. And a glance here at their shifty mobile signal caller. And I'll bet he's talking to his guys about resisting the temptation to try and turn this into an up-and-down game, almost like basketball, where both teams press and one team gets an advantage, our team's trying to run with them, and they're just not equipped for it. Doesn't matter whether you're equipped or not, just settle in, get calm before you go for the big strikes. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 23 carries, 88 yards. And he's hoping to have the same type of game, but he's going up against the number one defense in the league, and they're very good at fitting the run. So now you've got to think offensive strategy, maybe a little more play action, and try to find some people up and down the field. Seven yards on the quick slam and a first down. The Lions had 10-3 and three on the year, and they were winners their last time out, so they'll be looking to make it two in a row. And so much about football, partner, comes down to mindset. Being in the right frame of mind in the best way to get in that good frame of mind, winning. So they come in feeling good. They've got the home crowd behind them. I think they're going to be tough to beat in this one. Second down, another run with Taylor. Call it a gain of four, and it'll leave them with a third down and six to go. Hey, look at this defense for the Vikings. They're a unit that enters play way down, number 28 in the NFL right now against the run. And stopping the run, that's been an issue for them all. Richardson hit and he fumbles it. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. 
A little careless with the football, and he also had a fumble loss last week, didn't he? He certainly did, and when I'm watching him play, the one thing that comes to mind is always remember, traffic, turbulence, people around you, two hands. Get two hands on the ball. Grip it tight. I know it looks cool to have it in one hand. Put it away. Tuck it away because you've got to take care of the ball. Following the fumble recovery, Thompson, nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Logan Wilson make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Well, that's an excellent way to get the pass rush activated. The first sack of the game for them comes on the first play of the drive, and it makes it very tough for the opponent to pick up a first down now, playing behind the sticks. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Thompson now. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Kyle Duggar, he's the one that drops him this go around, and that pass rush getting strong here. Back-to-back -back sacks. Back-to-back -back sacks have this play set frenzy as they line up again third and long now. Send out their punter. Back deep, Ray Ray McLeod. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. And this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about what, the second sentence of the coach's address? Yeah. And those are so many drills focus on there. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. It doesn't always work out, though. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Richardson. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Now a give to Taylor. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, spot it right at midfield at the 50. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. Carlos Basham. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. From the shotgun, Richardson. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. That coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Let's one go downfield for Pierce. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Uh, fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on to punt. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here is away. Now the Vikings offense works their way back onto the field. You know, Charles, season winding down, time to maybe look ahead to the offseason. What do you see these guys going after either in the draft or free agency? Well, with the season that they're having, just about every position is up for grabs right now. No one is really safe, but the focal point is always the quarterback position. And he may be auditioning to try and stay with his own current team. I think he's auditioning for the rest of the league to try and find a spot because I think this team is looking for a new quarterback. Can't get away, and he's taken down. And now they'll stop play here at least momentarily. A member of the Vikings. 
Vikings in some discomfort after that last play. But the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. I'll tell you what, these last couple of drives much better from a defensive perspective. They gave up a touchdown on the opening drive, and then after forcing a punt on their last possession, it looks like they're going to get the football back again. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Returnable here from the 38. It's a 47-yard punt, return of six. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Lions offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? Because you had two, two drives with turnovers. Now they punted you, right? So at least they didn't turn you over. That's good, right? You're going to get some angry users <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. Back to Taylor on first down. Down to the 41. These two division rivals, a couple of late games on the schedule this year. Their first meeting, you might remember, was back in Week 10. And it was the Lions who got the road victory in that one. So they'll be looking to claim the season series now here at home in Detroit. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. A yard all they need, but it's third down. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. Come on, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. Calling no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Defensively, we always know that he is tough at run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do Justin before the ball's Tucker even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points. Obviously, not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Vikings offense now heading out to take over. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. First and ten. Here's Thompson. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Quinn Williams able to drop him for a loss of four from his defensive tackle spot. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Now Thompson, and it's complete to Mitchell. He'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Now third down and seven. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. The Vikings with the football here to begin the second quarter. Here comes third down at seven. As they've got it as we resume action. And he can't escape and down he goes. Multiple defenders get to him there and that is the sixth time he's been sacked in this ball game. And down he goes again. A bevy of sacks in less than a half. But this defense is still losing the game. They've got to fix something because there should be no excuse for losing with an effort like this on that side of the ball. They need to take advantage when their defense is generating this kind of pressure so early in the game. The Vikings send out their punter as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Here's McLeod on the return. Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on the six-yard return. And the Lions will take over. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Meanwhile, Richardson's throw taken in by Thornton. And he'll be out of 
bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Second and six. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Now it's Richardson. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Osa Odigizawa. The defensive tackle getting in there for a loss of five. The Lions on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third down and 12. Richardson. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. Man coverage on the left side, so I really like the design of this play because they opened up the field and brought their tight end the other way on a crossing route. That's a lot of ground to cover if you're a defender. I've been there before, unable to stay with his man there. Richardson to throw off play action. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. On the handoff, this is Taylor. And he's going to be stopped just short of the first down marker at the Vikings 34. 41 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. That one goes for eight yards. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. On the handoff, Taylor. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Now second and five. And they'll go to the air now with Richardson. He's got his man. It's Pierce. And the Lions are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Richardson on the bootleg here. He's got his man. It's size foot necessary because I think if he had another half size that, that catch doesn't count and he's able to get it in and it counts for a touchdown Tucker with the extra point and the lead is now 10 to 7 that time a nine play drive and it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions and this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The Vikings ready to go again on offense. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Thompson going to throw it. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. Clinton Williams. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. He continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. These sacks are starting to pile up. If they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. Third and long, Thompson. And this is going to be incomplete. Yeah, that's a nice job there defensively to break of those receivers on third down. And as a quarterback, all he can do is just lock one toward the bench. Not too close, mind you, and live to pump the football. 
And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here comes Jonathan Taylor and his teammates. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. Now he's looking just to add to his totals. From the 41, here's second down and seven. Now Richardson. Right side, Thornton with it. So five yards here, five on the play. And now it's third and three. Now a handoff, Taylor with it. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. When you're dead last in the NFL in third down conversions, the odds are against you every time you face it. How about him picking up that one? That was big for them. Richards into the air on first down. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Devin Witherspoon. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I, I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go-around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Richardson looking to throw this. And got his man complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. They'll get 34 yards there. When they needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Here's Richardson to throw. Delivers another one to Pierce. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16. And another first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Catch number 100 for his career right there. And it's good enough to keep the chains moving. On first down, Richardson. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone, following a pickup of about seven or eight. Now second and three. Richardson looking to throw. He's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. 
Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to it. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. This Minnesota D up to the task on the third down pass play. And that's a lesson learned from the previous drive. Last time he forced one, and it turned into a pick six. Here, he knows better, and he just throws that one away. Tucker's kick is good. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in the second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hold. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Vikings going to take over now late in this first half. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Trying to get on second down. It's Thompson. And that's off the mark. Incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions. And that one just one more away from getting on the field. They've got options now. Here, or just drop everyone in the coverage to crowd the throwing lanes. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. Personal foul, roughing the kicker, defense. That hurts. If it was running into the kicker, wouldn't be a first down. Roughing, it is a first. And just think Automatic about the differences down. between the two. Running into the kicker almost feels inadvertent. Just a small tap, so to speak. But when you rough him, usually bodies are hitting the ground and flying all different places. And the difference is five yards or 15. And in this case, that's a big play. Thompson on first and 10. A short one here caught by McBride. The Vikings going to signal for their first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. Who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most... It's on the ground. And this ball recovered by the offense. But remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead. And it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he's going to lose yardage, not that it matters, as the final seconds tick away. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. So we hit halftime with our visitors, the Vikings, taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, time for a sprint to the finish, as it's time to get you caught up with what's happening around the NFL here in a pivotal Week 15. We'll begin out in the windy city of Chicago. And that one tied 14 apiece in the second quarter. Next, we head down to Houston to check on the Texans at home at NRG Stadium. And they trail the visiting Chiefs in that one. Desmond Ritter with a couple of touchdown passes. Finally, let's get up to the place they call Title Town, Green Bay, Wisconsin to see what's happening with the Packers. And that one, all tied. This one's been all you could hope for as an NFL fan. Just a one-point game here at halftime. This has been as much fun as you could hope for with both these teams in it to win it. 
Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. And the Lions getting set to go on offense to start the third. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. And Richardson back to throw it. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. Richardson off the play fake. And he is caught by LaPorta. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That'll give him 60 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Running straight ahead, Taylor. Oh, good move. Shoves him away. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 71 yards rushing here for Taylor. He's got a first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Throw fighting Thornton over the middle. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. They'll try the left side with Taylor. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. Richardson escaping the point. And he takes this one in for the Lions touchdown. Anthony Richardson, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Lions have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. He's not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? Oh, <laughs> Davis from the top rope. <laughs> I like it. And he's going to go down. Can't get rid of it. So a sack on the two-point try. Well, they tried to get two and ended up getting none. Because the quarterback had nowhere to go, the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though, defensively. They were ready. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. It's the Vikings' turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession of the second half. Here's Mitchell now to kick off the drive. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Now whistles and a timeout. Looks like we've got a Viking slow to get up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. From the gun, it's Thompson. A throw out wide, going to be incomplete. I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with. Some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. I'm going to be out here with my partner because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well. So give some credit to the defense. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. 
So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And down it goes, but he takes it up to the 40. It's a game of 14 and a first down for Detroit. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. And he will find his man on the outside. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. From just shy of midfield, here's second down at a yard. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Back to back receptions for him, and it's another first down. They give to Taylor out of the goal. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. What a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28 yard line. 112 yards rushing for him now as he's done it on 19 carries. First and 10, Taylor now. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. What we call run fits, everyone was in the right place. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss, and now it's third down. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line, 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, here's Richardson. They'll get this off to Taylor. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. First down Detroit, 16 yards on the pickup. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. First and 10, Richardson looks to throw it. That's to the tight end, Laporta. Two yards on the pickup there, and that will bring up second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. On second down, it's Taylor. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Jonathan Taylor. His fifth rushing touchdown now of the year. And they are able to add on to their advantage. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you've had your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to. And he gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Taken at the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Minnesota now ready for their next possession. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Thompson going to throw again on second down. And his throw here is incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. 
options. They know there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. Third and long, Thompson. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. The Vikings send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. Here comes Jonathan Taylor and his teammates. The Omens effort on that last drive. Seven carries, got the touchdown as well. And the O-line probably got a little extra oxygen on the sideline in between. And deservedly so, because they were also caught. Richardson hit it, he fumbles it. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Second time in this game, Charles, the ball has squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on it. You're right. Got the lucky bounce, able to retain possession. You know, we often talk about the combine and why do we measure quarterbacks' hands. Is that really a big deal? It's for situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being jostled? And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Breakdown defensively there as the scramble is going to set him up with a much more manageable third down. Richardson working from the gun. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Devin Witherspoon. And they will set up shot in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two-score lead third quarter, but that... Not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. We're off to the fourth quarter here in week 15. Happy holidays to all. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Vikings in possession of the football, but they need some points. They're trailing here to start the fourth. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Third down and 12. Looking to throw Thompson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. And that goes for a gain of 31. Well, that was a pretty good time for his first catch of the ball game, and it turned into a huge play as well. He's certainly not been a central part of this passing game so far in this one. But he made his presence felt there. A big pickup on third down. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Thompson's throw complete to McBride. Short completion, just four yards. And that'll make it second down. Second and six at the 10-yard line. Thompson back to the air once more. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. You can't be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the 10 yard line going into the end zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. And he's going to be taken down, safe back around the 18 yard line. Micah Parsons picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Well, so that's closing in on the league lead in sacks. He came into the game in the top five. Now you add two more to his total. Eddie Pinheiro on now. This one from 35 yards away. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And that lead is back down to nine now. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, 
all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here's the Lion offense now as they get ready to take over. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep the run. First downs, they can't touch the ball. 139 yards rushing for him now as this sensational afternoon continues. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Again, it's Taylor. And taken down just shy of the 40. He was close to flirting with that sideline, but able to stay in bounds like you know his coach wants him to do and keep that clock moving. Isn't it funny that we're watching this play when we had that discussion just yesterday about this? What do you do in this scenario? What do you, you know, what's your mindset? It appeared to me that he totally forgot that he needed to stay in bounds. And then the last says, oh, no, I better, I better get down. And he ended up doing the right thing. But at that point, maybe close to let this slip away. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 46. Now it's Richardson. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Play action. Now Richardson. And that is incomplete. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. And this one is no good. He missed it, and that'll keep this a nine-point game. Uh, Charles, all things considered, I guess that's not a critical miss at this stage, is it? No, but still everything helps when you're trying to finish off a ball game. And you're right, not critical in terms of the scoreboard and the team, but the guy with the golden foot, he knows he's only as good as his last kick. First down, here's Thompson. Taking a shot for Dell here. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. Back to the air on second down. Thompson able to get this one to McBride. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. That's caught inside the 20. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They chalk that one up as a gain of 34 on third down. And here's a spot where this offense says, we got to start making something happen. We're down two scores. It's the fourth quarter. We've got to start moving with some urgency. And here's a big play that gives them a ray of hope that they can get back in this one. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Thompson now. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he sacked. Aiden Hutchinson in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Thompson, going to throw it. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Under four to play now. Clock running, third down. 
They run over center with Mitchell. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20 yard line. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. The Vikings unable to convert here on fourth. And the Lions will take over. So still over three minutes remaining in this game, but boy, not getting that when that hurt. That's a little bit demoralizing, so they have to be careful about that because still have an opportunity if they can get some things done on defense. But now, since they've taken over on downs, a team with the ball, guess what? Going to four-minute offense, maybe they can put this thing. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. Up the middle, here's Taylor. Pushing his way through. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. First down for the Lions on a nice pickup of 18 yards. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They fight, they... And the ball is free. Taylor lost it. And it looks like one of the DBs has it. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Partner, that would look like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game, so hold on here, not done in the fourth. So all eyes on this Vikings offense. Down by nine, 201 remaining. Previous Can they take advantage of the late carelessness? We'll see as they've got a first down. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. On the counter, it's Taylor. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Try to take this home. They'll run. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. They'll come up first and ten here. Here's Thompson. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. That's pretty difficult to summon up offense in a two-minute drill. When your guys have struggled to put points on the board all afternoon, there's an incompletion right there. Now Thompson. Now yeah, quick throw there is incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely going out of territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right under pressure, and down he goes. Here we go. This is for down. Thompson, desperation time. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And now, boy, the ball's going to go over on downs here inside the 10-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. And now following the desperation turnover on downs, they're set up with a first and goal to go. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play.
Down to an goes Richardson, and that should finish off this victory. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chop this one up to the left hand, coming for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for your kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. And that final kickoff completes the ball game. Partner and one side, a really nice win in this one. They were good on offense and on defense. And I'm guessing in the other locker room, partner, the head coach is just telling this team, hey, we didn't play well enough to keep it close enough where that one possession down the stretch might have given us an opportunity to win the game. So for Detroit, they remain in the hunt for a first round bye as they move to 11-3 on the year. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the Green Bay Packers. Meanwhile, for the Vikings, they drop their 10th game now to fall to 4-10. And, and they'll be on the road next week as they get a date with the Jaguars in Jacksonville. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.